Hey guys, Roko here, and today it's time for River City Ransom Underground. And hold on a sec, let me uh, turn on the air conditioner because uh, it's a little noisy. Okay, all right, and I did that so I could have enough time to figure out an intro. Or at least a way to explain what happened last time. Last time, we collected dog tags from military rejects of questionable military status. And I say questionable because I think those guys either got kicked out of military school or somehow stole those outfits. I mean, I don't exactly remember if they're just mercenaries wearing military gear or if they were in the military but got kicked out. I can't remember for some reason. And, hold on, let me uh, turn the volume down a little, because it's a little louder than I thought it would be. I, uh, sorry about that, but anyway, uh, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, I remember what I was saying now. Uh, basically, we gotta go to the military base-like place and give the guy dog tags. For whatever reason, I've got a sneaky suspicion something's... Well, I had a suspicion something's up. Yeah, that guy was trying to hit me. In all seriousness, the feeling I have is something might not be on the up and up. Oh, okay, so I'm not normally allowed in this area, but you'll allow a bunch of rich douchebags here. I do not get you. Okay. Wanna give enemies a bad day? Just... Just use a wheel. Ow. Okay, well, that plan was ruined. Okay, that was pretty good, actually. That was actually pretty cool. You know what? At one point... I gotta... Edit out parts of these videos and... Well, no, not edit them out of the actual videos, but... Make a... Compilation of every time I did a cool combo or did something that did... Crazy amounts of damage. I have some dog tags you might be interested in. DQ. Don't matter. I'm still standing, and I'll drag you in. That's convenient. I want to work with your employer. It's nothing personal, but I get paid extra if you're unable to speak. Totally digging your martial arts thing. You sound in. You should enlist. Wait. Okay, I'm a little confused by the grammar of that, if... Maybe I'm just being a little dumb. And... Sure you can! Oh, okay, that was pretty good! That was pretty good! Okay, now we need to go to Adam next. And since... That was so early into the love. Well, no, not levels. So early into the episode. I'm gonna do another thing then. Go straight to Adam. At the nightclub and ask for help. If he's willing to help us, that is. Alright. Ah! Vision! Here it is. And here we are. Yep, these guys will now show up as... Yep, those mercenaries will now show up as commonplace enemies. Be warned, though. They don't go down super easy. This one kind of did, though. But now there are multiple of these guys. And I missed! And I got punished, just like I would in a fighting game. Shoryuken! Ow! Well, 
That's up. Yeah, I know, I know. I don't block enough, but... Sure you can! Nice. Ow! Kinda thought I could, uh... Sure you can! Kinda thought I could have repeated what I did at one point when I did that combo. From before. Huh. This is a pretty nice elevator ride. Oh, that was short. And yes, you got- this is where you fight the next boss. And this boss is a little trickier than some of the earlier ones in terms of- ow. You know, I'm wondering if the enemies are tricky- if the enemies are actually harder than the bosses sometimes. Because it seems like I do sometimes take more damage from enemies than I actually take damage from bosses. Bye bye. How? Excuse me. How? Excuse me. Physics. How do you explain? How do you explain that? Ow. Ah. Okay. Screw trying to. Okay. Screw trying to throw them off the building. That's obviously not gonna work because this game basically said. Screw physics! So, okay, screw anything involving that approach, basically. Because... Oh boy. Maybe I need to... Yeah, the mercenaries are usually... As you can see, mercenaries love to be tricky to fight. And when you have to fight them in a crowd of enemies, they're not easy to take on. See, I lost a fair bit of health trying to take that one on. Because he loves to block an unreasonable amount for an AI opponent. And this is something some people have complained about with this game. Is how enemies will actually play like a fight- Well, actually act like they're playing a fighting game instead of a beat-em-up sometimes. But then again... All I can really say is... Yeah, you should've ex- Is that- Well- you should kind of already expect there to be a bit more of a fighting game nature. Uh, that's not the right way to say it. The right way to say it is, you should have expected things to be a bit more tricky and complex, basically, because this game was meant to be more complex to begin with, in terms of combat. So you should expect it to be a little bit trickier to do certain things. But not, not a bad one. That's not... That's not a diss again. I mean, that's not me dissing the game, of course. That's just me kind of pointing out how the AI is super aggressive, but that's something you should expect in a more technical beat em up like this. And I say a more technical beat em up due to the way the controls are designed, and to the fact that Kunio Kun games are known for more complex, more complex moves, move sets, basically. Even back in the NES days, believe it or not. Which is what actually made Kunio Kun fairly well known in a way. Though not as Kunio Kun, instead as River City Ransom. And Adam here. Adam here has a bit of an Akuma thing going on. Where he hits hard. And he hits fast. But he doesn't last very long. And yeah, you saw that attack where he de-aged into a baby, attacked as a little kid, attacked again as a teenager, then attacked as an adult, an old man, and then a dead guy. Ah, uh, in a coffin. Yeah, you saw that attack, right? That was actually a really cool attack animations-wise, but it's a rather standard attack in terms of... Well, actually avoiding said attack. Okay! Almost threw my own ass off a cliff! Or off a building in this case, which would have been pretty bad! Good. Ooh! Don't let me do that again, guys. Don't let me be stupid, please.
Okay, I kind of like Glenn's expression of, uh, how long do I need to wait for this? Okay, this is something I confirmed with a friend, but I didn't confirm, but I didn't actually confirm this on the channel. Ow! And I am going to right now. During this fight. And I'm probably going to need to heal quite a bit after this fight. So it would be a perfect time to uh, confirm this. Ow. Actually, no, I need to confirm it right now. <laughs> Look. Yeah, the dog tags do, in fact, heal you if you eat them. They just don't heal much. They heal, like, three points of health. Or stamina, as I should say, as the game calls it. So it's really not that useful. And the only reason you should really be eating those is just to get those out of your inventory, because you don't need them anymore. But the game doesn't have the courtesy to uh, get rid of them for you. So you're gonna have to get rid of them yourself. Sure you can! Ow. Okay. Oh, man, I wanted to uppercut him. Oh, well. Roko crunched the dog tags. Roko felt instant regret and the uh, metal aftertaste. Stamina went up by three. Max stamina increased by one. So yeah, these can beef up your stats a little, but not much. And... As your character says, it's instant regret. I mean, duh, you just ate a dog tag! And, okay, instant regret again! Pissing off the police by accident! Double instant regret! Well, I wonder how much worse this day can get. Okay, that's not an invitation day! Do not get worse! That was just a joke about what's going on right now. Well, not so much a joke, but a comment, I guess. I'm back. And yeah, nothing really changes story-wise. Well, yeah, obviously something did, but... I mean, yeah, the story progressed, but nothing new in this area. But now we need to go to... Okay, Marv Tower, which is in Marville, Marville, Marville. Huh? I wonder how many superheroes like to show up at that place. Anyway, this was a pretty short episode, basically, because uh, I didn't really realize how little there was to actually do before the Marv Tower part of the game, which is what we're about to enter next time. But anyway, guys, hope you had fun watching this video today, and well, today, tonight, whenever you're watching, hope you had fun, and I'll see you guys next time as we go inside Marv's Tower to somehow... Wait, did they call him Marv or... Merv. It's- I think it's Merv, actually. We'll go to Merv's tower, strain this whole crap out, and, uh, hopefully not get our asses beat along the way. But, only time can tell. And until then, see you guys next time, and happy gaming!